Aloha everybody, I am Gabriel Gaming 5000 k and welcome to Let's Play Dead Island! We're playing the d Definitive Edition. The original Dead Island has been released in 2011, but the Definitive Edition came out in 2016. Let's do it! Alright. We're gonna choose some characters. The main heroes are Logan. Perna, Shan, Cheyenne, Sam B. Sam B has a blunt is a blunt weapon expert. Cheyenne has is a sharp weapon expert. Perna, firearm expert. Logan, he's good at throwing things. Okay, well, I'm, my one of my favorite characters is I'm gonna go with. Let's see here. No, no, no. I'll, I'll choose Cheyenne because she's one of the oddest characters ever. My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. There's one punch. He died when I was ten. I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wo Xing Wo Triad, and I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask, for I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. Well, there you have it, folks. Cheyenne is voiced by Kim, my guest. In this one. Her father was a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. He's been teaching her daughter martial arts. With this time she's a slasher. In the opening, the song the opening song is Who Do You Voodoo? Right, and Sambi is voiced by Phil Amar, who does the voice of Hermes Conrad from Futurama. Let me hear his voice. I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two. And that's where he died, Angola. Mama didn't ever recover from that. Just drank and did crack. Oh. Any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. And I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. But man, just couldn't catch a break. Ain't nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? <laughs> Went right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And suddenly, <laughs> I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. New Jersey accent, don't I you think? I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that grave train wasn't there going in. So I did another song, and another song, and nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song <laughs> after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Been ten years, man. And yeah, I could still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now it's just Reno or Laughlin. It's a motherfucking cruise ship. <laughs> so this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. And if I could notice. Yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
He is definitely voiced by Phil Lamar. Sam B wants to be a rapper. In other words, he made up a song called Who Do You Voodoo, Bitch? <laughs> It started on the opening where, where the first person mode player being attacked by a bunch of party members like Logan. That's him. Let's let's hear his bio. Oh man. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in two thousand four. Yeah, man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey for Christ's sake. Yeah, so I drank a few beers now and then, and popped the occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the Whoa. team quacks would shoot me up with just so I could play. And sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswiped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl would still be alive. Shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass that I violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi pro in fucking Canada. <sighs> but I'm still a name. Oh, yeah. I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me first class halfway around the goddamn world. Because my name still means something. Logan Carter is no goddamn douchebag. The Logan Carter is voiced by David Kai, who voices the Shomaru from Inuyasha. He's also the voice of, let's see here, who did he voice? He voiced one of the Ben 10 aliens, like Shock Squatch. Right? Okay. Let's see who else. Logan Carter is a drunk character. Let's hear Perna's bio. Perna Johnson, that's her name. I hate rich assholes, which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for, this pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoit to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. You think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl. And the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Oh. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever. And all white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off and no one would care. Because I was nothing. A nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking oh took God. his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just gelded him. One day, I'm going to have to go back and finish the job. Uh, she used to be an officer. But she's a good shooter. That's for sure. I'm going to choose Cheyenne, because she's the sharp weapon expert. One of my favorite characters. I'll take her. My father was a very... Prologue, Rise and Shine. So this is where the whole island is literally infected. You can press B to skip the cutscene. 
We got Exploding Meat Blueprint. Meat Bait Blueprint. Chaos Overture. Better leave your room. Well, this is a first person view. Ripper Mod. Press A button to jump. You waste stamina. Left trigger, right trigger lets you punch. The holding the RB will let you choose your whatever items you want, whatever weapons you need. If you press LB, you can kick. Press the A button, you'll get med kit. The X button, you get med kit. My goodness, we're in a hotel room. <clears throat> if I press the left stick, you sprint. Let's see here. What else? Press the X button. Find the emergency staircase. What do we have here? Medium med kits. Oh, nothing but dead bodies. You can spend cash on new items, or you can use it to enhance your weapon. Why is there shoe, someone's shoe left behind? And why are there so many blood all over the place? Seriously. Okay. Let's look around, okay? You should look for usual items. See, treasure Hunter. They got achievements in this one. Press the down control pad to toggle your flashlight on or off. Remember, the flashlight consumes battery. So watch the meter, okay? Okay, when you see a door that's jammed, hold the X button. Okay, if you press the right stick down, you gotta release it. If it's in the if it's in the center of the red bar, of the bar, you'll be able to break free easily. Do it perfectly, like this. If you if it goes on the white one, it decreases. On the empty one, it'll decrease. You don't have a choice. Party Crasher. Alright. Press A button, you jump. Again. Turn your flashlight on. If you press the control pad up, it'll show your inventory. Quests. App. Skills. It includes Fury, Combat, Survival. Players, your name, the inventory, they include miscellaneous, collectibles, press our right trigger, you show your collectibles, blueprints, bluntly shocked mod, exploding meat blueprint, meat plate blueprint, ripper mod, modification, your phone, miscellaneous, medkits, let's see if I could equip that, nope, back. Quests, you get XP for completing missions. The map, you gotta find the emergency staircase. The map's not available yet, but here we go. Let's see. Some items. Let's open this up. Yeah, let's open this up. Treasure Hunter. Kind of reminding me of Rouge from Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Can I skip this? Yeah. Battery. More cash. Okay, if I press the select button, or the control pad, it'll show your inventory, that's for sure. Okay. 
Alright. Find the elevator lobby. You see a red flag. That's your main objective. You review hints in the pause menu. Okay, all we gotta do is open the elevator hatch. Come on, stupid walls. If I press the, the right stick, you can crouch. Ah. The elevator hatch is over there. Come on, hold the X button so that you can open it. Alright, presto. Get inside the elevator. You got it. Press right stick to crouch. That voice I just heard. It's gotta be the main villain, by the way. I think he is voiced by Johanna. Maybe there's something inside. Yep. By the way, who exactly is this guy? This mysterious guy. Can't tell if he's the main villain or not. So many blood on the elevator. Anywho, folks, let's go over there. It's a lot of items. And a load of dead bodies. And what do we have here? The main enemies. Turn around and run away from the infected. Just a oh, get off me. You gotta, you gotta press the buttons, left trigger or right trigger at the right time. You got infected. These guys are very annoying. They're gonna chase after you and shave off your health easily. When you're exhausted, wait for a few seconds to regain stamina. I'm gonna fight these punks. Alright. Yeah, there are critical hits, by the way. Infected, they run fast. And they shave off your health really quickly. Once you get close to them, they're gonna hit you. Come on. Yeah, hitting them isn't gonna help. Or you can jump kick them. Ah. They're not dead yet. Come on, die. Die, you undead scum. Whoa. These guys love to shape my health really quickly. Come on. Large battery. Come on, open up the cabinets. Metal scrap. Why do these dudes take this much damage? Come on. Alright, never mind. Right? Never mind the punch. If I defeat a level 51, I might be able to get XP. That easily. That I am sure of. Come on. Oh, it doesn't help. Yes! That'll show them. You have skill points available. Press, press control pad up. Spend them. 
That includes Fury, Combat, Survival. Let's see here. Combat, Jump Attack Damage. Unleash your Fury to use your most lethal skills to quickly deal with nearby bad guys. Okay. When the Rage Meter is full, hold B to activate your special Fury skills. Mm -hmm. Grim Inspiration, Assassin's Guile, Gil, Lightning Moves. Alright, let's try this bad boy out. Let's see you handle this one. Infected Scum. Ah, one of them died. Like a ragdoll. <laughs> Come on. Give it up already so I can give you a taste of your own medicine. Come on. I don't care what you do. Just... Just get off me. Bye. Yeah. The screams. Crazy screams. Yeah. The infected have red eyes. Bloodshot eyes. Alright. Come on. Come on. Get up so I can give you a taste of your own medicine. I think that's the best thing that I could have done, had to do. Ah. Now then, let's see you get over there. Can't catch me. Booyah! Come on. No skill point. Come on. Die. 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 Uh oh. Yeah, they got claws. Yeah. Yeah, the yellow meter is your rage. Let's see here. Fury. Okay. I'll use this one. Grim Inspiration. Let's try this stuff out. Combat. Survival. Alright. Let's go back. Oh my god! The walker! Those low level zombies. They are low. There are zombies with a low level. Sometimes they pick up a weapon. When they throw a weapon at you, they can kill you instantly. You'll never catch me! Catch me if you can, punk! Nanny nanny boo boo! Da -da 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 -da. Uh oh. <gasps> oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on, chase me. Get away from me! Ah! Come on. Die. Die. Get in there. Yes. 
on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now then, let's go and use Blade Fighter. Using a sharp weapon, you can trigger a special attack. You press right trigger while aiming for the enemy head. Okay. Good call. Sharp expert. Let's see, what else? Exactly. Blade Master, Surgeon General, Custom Maintenance, Merchant, Combo, Equal Chances, Rally, Choice Cuts, Field Medicine, Pick Lock, Endurance, Deeper Pocket, Deep Wounds, Effortless, Backstab, Sharp Expert, Telling Blows, Serrated Blade, Stroke of Luck, Pressure, Blade Master, Master Assassin, Poisonous, mm -hmm. Burning Blood Rage, Blowing Strikes, Boiling Blood Rage, Volatile, and Re-Rage. Alright, well, let's do it. Let's get out of here from now on, okay folks? But for now, I think I should probably check out some weapons. Oh my god, more dudes. Out of my face! Okay, press B to use that kit. Okay. I'm gonna fight these low-level punks right there. Oh, they use syringes. Those walkers are at a level 51. Come on, stay out of my way, you, you punks. Why is, why is someone's flip-flop left there? All right, you son of a gun. Sons of guns. I'm gonna show you who's boss. Watch out! When you take a hit, you they'll shave your health off. Especially when I'm at a low level than these guys. Come on, die! I'd give up if I were you. Darn, these guys are seriously strong. Come on. Take that. Ah, pretty simple. Try luring these zombies over here so that they die instantly. Good idea. Come on, die, die. Uh oh. Can't even jump. Watch out for the three hit combo move. Come on. Ouch! That hurt. Yes! I'm leveling up now. <laughs> Yeah, that yellow bar is actually your XP. And there's a red meter over there, that's your rage. Alright. I'll have to kill some more punks. Do I? They'll never catch me alive! Meatheads never catch me alive. Huh. What do we hear? A battered stick. That's a blunt weapon. Right there. Let's see here. If I press the left trigger, you might be able to aim. You aim. Hold the, right, hold the right trigger. Hold the left trigger so that you can aim. To aim. When you see a red cursor, press the right trigger to throw. <laughs> Let's 
guys will be in like a ragdoll. <laughs> okay. One more zombie ought to be enough. What's in here? Come on. Why won't you die? Come on. Why exactly won't you die? Oh. They got nano machines. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seriously, stop that. And when, when the enemy's stamina is lowered, it's reduced to zero, they can get knocked out. But you can't kill them right now. Come on. I won't rest until I defeated you, punks. Come on. Get up, you... you infected punk. Come on. I see bloody footprints over there. Where your life? Hey, don't walk away on me. Who cares? You can get up. I said get up. Right now. Come on. Let's see if I can lure her to the, to the door. I know I have skill points. Right now, so... Come on, get in there! It's about to go down. Come Killing enemies will sh with sharp weapons generates additional rage. Okay. I'm at a level 7, so that's fine. Yarly. Let's open up this door. Huh. That's the same room I fought these punks. These zombie punks, whatever they are. Uh, we're in the cabana right now. We're in Golden Beach. Margaret. This Jack. One of these survivors are crying. I'm in a room full of survivors right now. What do we got here? Benari Herald Expert. What are the collectible items? Ooh. Cool, and there's energy drinks. It will restore your health. Okay. Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him 
That's skinny. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Blood on the sand. Help the lifeguard get rid of the undead. There's Hank, Adrian, Ellie, Please. Eddie, one Wayne. You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help. get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Don't let him die. Find a weapon. Press the right trigger to perform an attack. You got a paddle. All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three! <laughs> There's Seminoid. Seminoid. Oh! That ought to hurt. A lot of dead corpses over there. Seminoid is voiced by Steven Bloom. Better watch his health. If you help me, Sinjiro, you fail. Fail. Come on. Die, stupid walking zombies. Yeah, the harder they fall, I know. Come on. Bam! Their heads explode. Act one. Just touching Galilee for a while. No thanks to you. We got 2,000 XP. You've completed the prologue, and the co-op mode is now available. Select Quick Join from the game menu where you can find and join other players. Try fighting zombies with friends for a completely new experience. Okay. No thanks. Hold on. The options. I'm going to do... I'm going to do single player for now. I was touching God with you for a while. I didn't see you out there. <laughs> this is Stephen Bloom, who voices Cinemoy. We didn't think you were gonna make it. He has an Australian accent. He, sem he sounds like Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop when he talks. We didn't think you were gonna... Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you, and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? No, they're not. I don't know who you are, or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask. But we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Okay. Passport to life. Bring the security keycard to the lifeguard tower from bungalow number 11. The difficulty is easy. When you see two red skulls, that means it's easy. In XP, 400. Press A to start now or press B maybe later. I'm going to start now. Absolutely. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. Bring the security keycard to the lifeguard tower from Bungalow number 11. Well, you see an exclamation mark. Make sure you follow it. And yes, you're gonna... The objectives are... The exclamation mark is the quest giver. The red flag is your destination. Is the player. If you press the A button, you can set your location. Alright. Let's talk to Steven. Fuck, I should have stuck with James. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinemoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Alright, the lost. Find Maggie and tell Steven her location. It's easy. You get 300 XP. Let's start now. Sure. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. 
Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? Well, we got to find Maggie, folks. I'm going to show you where Maggie is in the map. If you press left trigger or right trigger, left trigger, zoom out. Right trigger, zoom in. All right. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Check the quest. We're going to do Passport to Life first. There are a lot of side quests in this one. I'm going to do Passport to Life. Here we go. For now. Run button. Some of these corpses love to play possum. Alright. Broomstick. Press RB to toggle between quick inventory items. Let's see here. I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna collect some items. Energizer drinks. That's one of the energy drinks. the flashlight off, please. Fight that walker. Nice counter move. Ouch. Ha <laughs> ha. Death to you. Alright. Doesn't look like it's an undead. But I hear roaring. They're eating corpses. Yeah, right. Die, infected scum. Dead. Oh, there's a pool over there and a beach ball. Oh, I was right. They do like to play possum, that's for sure. Fine. Okay. Yay, level up. Fine. Die. Whoa! Go away! Bye. Yay. <laughs> now let's focus. Kind of looks like Paradise Island, right? But at least oh my it's God. not really Paradise. It's Undead Paradise. Oh Killing oh undead zombies. Sorry. There's that dude crying. That's Ted B. Vaughn. Why is the pool so bloody? I'm gonna talk to Ted. My wife. My, my dad. Oh fuck, my own fucking brother. Jesus Christ! What else could I do? Let him kill me? No. Why are you looking at me like that? Dude, what calm down. What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice! He is really upset. He misses his wife, oh, his brother, god. and his dad. Oh god. Oh. Poor guy. The rusty pipe. All oh, those annoying zombies. Ding. What else can I do? There's a rate. Ding, 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 ding. Hold on just a minute. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my skills here. Let's see here. 
boiling blood rage. Let's see here. Well, all this makes sense. I can turn. You lose cash when you die. Vampire. You gain stamina by killing enemies. Bing. We're gonna ah. get off me. What are you gonna do? Come on. Monster. Yeah. Hurrah! Now it's time to return to Cinemoy. I told you to stay away. Why wouldn't you listen to me? Oh, poor guy. Uh oh. Stupid possum playing zombies out of my way. Uh oh. Hey, go away! Out of my way, you stupid zombie! Ow! That really hurt! Lay off, will you? Ha ha! You're finished! Dead! Look, personal ID! There are a lot of ID cards in this. A total of 100. Right. Kill those zombies, some. That hurt! The weapon's badly damaged. I'm gonna have to find a workbench to repair the, uh, the weapon. When you attack enemies with your weapon, it'll decrease. So if I were you, I would watch that meter. Trust me. We got a feeble homemade knife. I need that. Bleach. Alright. Beautiful. Mm. For a moment, you can almost forget. What do you mean? Alrighty then. We're heading back into the cabana so that we can talk to Sinemoi. Thank God we found you. No you did it? You. All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. Exodus. We We're gonna talk to Cinnamon again. You got Nail Mod. But by the way, let's talk to Cinnamon again. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yes, please. Get to the lifeguard tower. We're gonna start now. Okay. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Go to the lifeguard tower and get rid of all the undead in the area. Alright, folks. We're gonna head over there. Before we head to the tower. Die! Oh my god. That's a lot of annoying undead. Oh, we got Molotov. What the heck? Get out of my way. Oh, when you see skull symbols. The survivors are in trouble. Gotta kill. Gotta kill the undead. Paris is in trouble. All right. I'm coming, man. Ow! Get 
You're dead. Leave me alone. Right. Increase your stamina. Booyah. Come on. Ow! Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along... You'd be zombie you chow. Me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Oh, yeah. When you see a, t a yellow tool symbol, that means this is the workbench. Another herald expert. Inside you can use to repair your weapons. Oh, gee, thanks, man. Look, take whatever you want. I think Harris is voiced by Dave Wittenberg. He voiced a lot of survivors, male survivors. Males. I have to get some rest. This is a workbench nearby. Use it to modify, repair, and upgrade weapons. It's right there. It costs cash. Okay. You can also upgrade your weapons. You owe me knife. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to find a lot of parts. The circular blade is the Ripper mod. If you could hear me, did you make it to the bungalow? It's number twenty. Remember, the insulin is in the bathroom, on the shelf. I need it quick, brother. Oh, that's Danny. He's one of the survivors. Danny is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. He had the same exact voice as Danny from Zatch Bell. I remember him. That's the guy that goes, Could you stop calling me that? I'm not a kid. He doesn't like being called Danny Boy. In other words, Yuri Lowenthal has voiced Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. And he's also the voice of Beck from the video game Mighty Number no. 9. Maybe there's something useful. Also, Yuri Lothal voiced Ben Tennyson from Ben 10. I would have died out there the teenage Ben 10. And he's also the voice of Simon from Gurren Lagann, Yosuke Hanamura from Persona 4. Let's see, who else did Yuri Lothal voice? Shogo Akuji and Matt Miller from the Saints Row series. Let's see who else. The Prince of Persia. Let's see. Besides. Uh oh. Oh my god. Infected. Stay away from me. Come on. Ooh. These infected shave off your health really quickly. And as I was saying. Yuri Lowenthal provided the voice of... Let's see here. Who else did he do? Albedo Ben. The evil Ben Tennyson. Yeah. He's also the voice of He-Man. Man. Dying. Whatever you do, stay out of my way. So many infected trying to chase me. They keep roaring at me. Got to mention that Yuri Lowenthal does the voice of Pip Benedok from from the video game, from the anime, the OVA, Helsin Ultimate. That's how I remember. Anyway, there's a whole buttload of annoying zombies over there. Ow! Stupid! Stupid! 
like weapon throwing zombies? Oh, they're knocking me down when my stamina is low. Watch out. I'm trying to save my health off really quickly. Out of my way. Come on. Stay back. I said stay back. Die, you disgusting freak. Huh. Yeah, there are a lot of challenges and achievements in this one. Alright. Boom. By the way, what's in there? Come on. Good stuff. Yeah, if you stay underwater for too long, you're gonna you're gonna lose your health really slowly. And it, that's no good. Demon cardio. Alright. Come on. Get in there. Get in the hut. Get in the bar hut. Shan. Die already! Die already! Oh, oh my god, I'm about to fail. Alright. You can also break bones. Hands off! Alright. They're dead. Probably need to use this. We got canned food. And there's a flammable object. That including the fuel. It's freaking awesome. You can also use it on bad guys. Be careful not to get close to the fuel tank. Because if you get close to it when it explodes, you will take a load of damage. If I can counter him. Nice countering. Okay. Anyway, let's let's go. We're heading to the tower. Die, die, die. That was it. Alright. Use the car to get to the lifeguard tower. Step behind me! Oh my god! world there's a lot of zombies in the in the tower we're gonna try this on for size throw it at the end <laughs> my god there's a whole lot of them being infected Walkers are starting to work on my nerves here. The more I level up, the more enemies get stronger. They'll be on the same level. Come on. Get on your feet, punk. Take that. Get the energy drink. Alright, let's pick this up. Yes, you got the card. It's about time we, we 
and throw this bad boy around. Hey, 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 out of my way. My weapon is damaged. True. Weapon is literally damaged. What do you think you're doing? Can you knock it off now? You're irritating me. You can kill multiple enemies by exploding a propane canister near them. Try throwing a weapon at it, like this. Ah. Uh, yeah, I would stay away from the fire if I were you. Definitely. On die. Dead man walking. Now get inside the life tower. Alright, we'll drop this propane. Propane! <laughs> oh, we have a new enemy. That here is a titan. He is very annoying. They can throw you easily. You can't throw them like a ragdoll. An infected? What in the world? That's a thug. Those thugs are friggin' annoying. They will punch you. They're gonna punch you if you get too close to them. Maybe if you counter him, it would really help. Like this. More and dead. All right. Man, I love this game. All right. Zombies are upstairs. And you see a skull symbol with an, with an up arrow on top of their heads. That means that they're upstairs. Energy drinks. Candy bar, and also a fruit. Another fox. Take a sip. Yeah, dismembering their bodies, there's the zombies' bodies, really help. What's in there? Bathroom? Trash can. A lighter. For crafting. Mayday, mayday. This is Oceanic Flight 1012. Shut up. Engines are out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control, do you read? Alright, we gotta open the hatch. The city in the jungle. To all stations, I repeat. An airplane. Oh crap! Get away from me! Am I infected? Am I gonna stop irritating me? Gotcha. A dead body of it. Oh my god! Oh, just give me this jump scare. Contact cinema using the radio of the main deck. Okay. I knew you could do it. Hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Good. Chapter 2, Busy Surviving. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. 
Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. All right, we're going to be helping everyone. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. Yep. A lot of folks really need help. But there's a fast travel over there. That's just too hatch. We're going to have to be talking to Mike. Let's see, who else? The kill time. Help Mike and Dominic. This is hopeless. Let's talk to Dominic. Hey, man. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you think you can get it for us? On the air, go to the lighthouse and bring back a signal amplifier. This is a normal mode mission. XP 1000. Let's do it. I'm in. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. Go to the lighthouse and bring back a signal amplifier. Let's check our main objective. <laughs> Let's set the location. That way, it would help. Talk to Hank. But for now, we're gonna have to go focus. Okay, now the fence opens. The fence gate opens. Okay, and there's a truck over there. And there are vehicles over there so that you can ride on. I'd say it'd be a lot easier and faster. Yeah, I can hear car alarms blaring. And nasty zombies coming over there is bad enough. Get away from me. They're in back again. Okay. I just need to level up my skills right now. Let's see here, combat. Increased still ability of the sharp weapons is maintenance. Booyah. Uh oh. Let's hope those zombies don't get in my way. That's a small knife. But you can stab. If you have an axe, you'll be able to, de to dismember these, these shots. Especially when you're fighting the infected. And also, the, the walkers. Oh yeah, when you see a symbol, that's a truck. Wheel symbol, that's a vehicle. Get in there. You press left trigger, reverse. Press right trigger, drive forward. Kind of awesome. You can run into zombies. But just because you're in a car doesn't mean you're invincible. But you can still ram into bad guys. Whee! So friggin' awesome! I think we got a live one! Hey! Up here! Evan! Hey, buddy! Knocking on heavy in store. Talk to the lighthouse, lighthouse guard. Oh, okay, let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta bring a signal amplifier. That we do. I'm gonna talk to the lighthouse guard right now. Can't be. 
I can't believe you're alive. Colin Cugly. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you're still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you're still alive. Thanks, man. Now it's time to follow Colin. James will probably want to talk to you first. Oh. Maybe there's something in here. Barbed wire. He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. That's Monica Goldberg. Mick Flair. Linda. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Okay. Holy shit, you're alive? James Stein. Talk to James at the top of the lighthouse. I am alive, buddy. Well, what's this? Recording. I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must say, everything seems oddly quiet and deserted here. I'm a little concerned that my informant has been exposed. <sighs> I hope he's all right. The door appears to be ajar. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? How the hell is it possible you're still alive? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. Don't see a body, though. Mr. Anomo? What the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God. Whoever that was, I think I just killed her. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. We saw she you was get out bit of her mind. Of things, man. She tried to bite me for Christ's sake. <sighs> she must have been 70 years old. I don't fucking believe this. Cinemoy was right. Yeah. Someone else is back there. But you know whose voice I, gotta, I recognized? I gotta get out of here. Ah, let's see. What do we got? They're also recordings. Let's see, what else? Collectibles. That's the blue letter. The guy here is voiced by Cam Clark. He also does the voice of Liquid Snake from Metal Gear Solid Twin Snake. That's the voice I recognized. Anyway, let's talk to I James. You get bit by one of those things, man. I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinemoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Okay. Knocking on Heaven's door. Help the people get around the light. Help the people around the lighthouse. This is a hard difficulty, but you get 500 XP. You know, this James guy kind of reminded me of Joseph Joestar. Old Joseph Joestar. Yeah. I'll try. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, Go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Okay. Talk to Darwin. That's hey, Trevor. Come a little closer. Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Light my fire. Get four flares from the wreck on the coast. Hard difficulty. We're going to help Trevor. Let's do it. Good. And when help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Okay. Here we go. Let's go down. We're gonna talk to Mick. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? 
Sure, tell me where it hurts. Find a bottle of painkillers and three bandages for Linda. Easy. Very easy. Let's do this. Thank you. There's a wrecked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. Find a bottle of painkillers. We're gonna talk to Monica. I can't get through. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. She's got an iPod I on her shoulder. I lost with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Nighthawk, look, look near the jungle for the location of the aircraft. Sure. It's hard. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Okay. Anyway, let's go and do one of the side quests. Let's do light my fire first. Okay? That's Ned. You know, some of these side quests Where are for the bonuses. Did I put that? This is Javier. He's the merchant. You can either buy some items Sell or buy back. I'd say we can buy some. Uh, let's see if we can buy the double blade. A cleaver. We don't have enough money. Let's see. Okay. This is this is expensive items. They have modifications. Suicide or meat. It's worth a thousand dollars and seven hundred cents. Good gravy, man. At any rate, let's go down over there. Never falling in high places can deal damage. I'm really serious. Do not want to fall in high places at all. Vehicle would do the trick, wouldn't it? I could probably use that. Boy. Friggin' infected, so annoying. I hate them with a fiery passion. You stay out of my way. Ow! You just knocked me out! Stop just screaming! Good riddance. Lanoi Holiday Resort. So that's where we are. A holiday resort that has been peaceful, but now infected. Run away! Okay, better yet, get away from me. Enough shaving off my health, you stupid freak. Good riddance. Oh my god. That's another one? Come on. Take that. <gasps> oh my god. Two infected are coming from behind? Oh, you guys are so irritating. Ow! What are you 
think you're doing? More of these? Ow! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh! Alright, that's it. You need your choice. Rage begin. Yes. Phew, that was close. Thought I was gonna die. Alright. Get away from me. Oh no, I'm about to fail. You regenerate your health a little bit when you're low on health. So, let's use that homemade cleaver. And there's a crate nearby. You can also pick it up or throw it. Oh my god, that's a whole lot of zombies in the cave. Get the arm off. Decapitation. Oh my god, I'm about to fail. Oh no! I'm not infected! God. They're literally gonna finish me off no matter how many times my stamina gets low. That's one flare. Anything will help. Through. All right. Take that off. I'll go. Drink. Yeah. Oh, there's a hologram over there. Big hologram. Thugs? Oh my god. Getting close to them is not a very good idea. What are you doing? Yeah, throwing them will really help. I hate those thugs. I kill them with a fiery passion. That's for sure. Okay, just Alright, place that crate over there. There's another flare. Okay, that's done. Next. I'm gonna find the other one. It's on top of this rock. Now it's time to return to Trevor. Well, the water's slowing me down right now. Oh my god, I can't even use my weapon anymore. I'm gonna have to... Upgrade that. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my god. Do I recognize that roar? You're getting on my nerves. Move faster. Come on. Dead.
Uh oh. Bam. Oh no. Now you're dead. Good riddance. Moving on right now. Where are you folks? Let's look in there and the hell? talk to Darvin. We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two Transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Ray of Hope. Buy Marcus and fix the Transformers powering up the lighthouse. Yes. All right. Good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darvin, by the way. Nice to meet you, Darvin. You gotta find Marcus. But let's talk to Trevor. Hey, buddy. Cinemoy's boys aren't doing a damn thing to prepare. Not like we are. Here, take this. Just a token. Light my fire is totally done. Hey, wait, there's a trophy. I want to get it. We get is a tiring. Tiring nail hammer. It's a jumbo jet, not a needle in a haystack. You kidding me? Where the hell did I put that? See if we can do another quest. Let's see here. Radio hope. All right, here we go. Get to the driver's side already. There's a big bus that's been destroyed. Oh, we need to, the car takes a lot of damage. The, the, the windshield is broken, it's, shat, it's shattered. You break it. Oh boy. Yeah, let's focus on the mission from now on, okay? Run. Boom. In your face. Get out of the car. <clears throat> uh, how you get up there. Yeah, I think Dave Wittenberg voices Marcus. Out of my face! Leave him alone. The capital punishment is where you decapitate zombies. 
25 zombies. Name's Marcus. Hey, Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! Get the transformer back online. At any rate, we're gonna have to kill these lousy punks. Alright. Alright. Hands off, freak. You can hear them gurgling in the water. It's as if they're drowning. Not drowning. Yeah, of course not. More zombies. Alright. There's another one. You're about to bite the dust, man. I'm not kidding. Goodbye. No, don't hit the rage mode. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button, folks. Sorry about all that. I have to open that door. Come on. Try again. He was inside. No one's in there. ID card 12. I'm so thirsty. I'm I'm thirsty. I feel dizzy That's and a little him. nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. Acquire water for Kim. Very easy. Nectar of life. I'll see what I can do. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. Acquire water for Kim. You find anything? You have to find a lot of water for Kim. But no matter what you do, the mission will still be the side quest My will still be are starting to cramp up. will still be present oh thank god thank you then you earn money for every water bottle you give to kim we're going to talk to anna i'm annie and i'm looking for Your my teddy annie. bear i can't fall asleep without him and i'm very tired and those monsters keep knocking will you find my teddy bear yes i will find your teddy bear Toy Story. Find Annie's teddy bear. Gonna remind me of a Disney movie, Toy Story. Well, let's start now. Of course. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. He's got Remember, a sister named Jenny. His name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. Yeah, he is one brave teddy bear, all right. We're gonna find Annie's teddy bear in bungalow number 15. It's in right there. So we're gonna we're gonna stay focused on let's see here. <laughs> Ray of hope. Find Marcus. Okay. We're gonna find him first. We'll do the teddy bear thing later. Don't worry about it. I'll just stay out of my way. And bandages. Hey, go away. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Right. Come on, hurry up. Make a few. Come on. They get in there. Oh, we gotta fight them. 
We'll fight them first. We're dead now. Come on. Open it up. Oh my goodness. Sirens blaring. Alright. Turn off the sirens. Maybe there's something useful. I'm disabling crowbar. Booyah. Get back to Marcus. Oh, what was he saying? You gotta kill those stupid zombies. It's getting on my nerves right now. It's getting on my nerves. My God, I'm about to fall. Let's go check the quest. This is a continuous event. No matter how you complete the mission, it will still be continuous. Alcohol. Oh! Quiet. You leave me alone, you infected freak. One is all that I need. You have to defeat five infected in a row. Think of it as like one punch man. You have to kill them in one hit. In a row. Without getting hit. And it's probably the hardest one. All right, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. All right. The world's gone fucking mad. Quest updated. We're gonna get back to Darwin. We're gonna go back to him, folks. Also, go away. What do we have here? More water. Stupid walker, stay out of my way if you know what's good for you, okay? I said stay away from me. Come on, die. Who's your stamina? Jeez. Ow! Oh my god, I'm about to fail. I'm seriously getting tired, folks. Die, you possum playing freaks. Oh. Poor Luke. He's, he's in pain. Anywho, folks. I'm gonna go check on Toy Story. All right, let's do it. Why not? I'll probably do it in the next part, so I'm still gonna do. Let's see here. Ray of Hope. Still gotta talk to Darwin. 
We're getting the heck out of there. You don't have to jump. Uh, Wrong button. Stay away from these lousy zombies. Yeah, they do respawn most of the time. They usually do, but they usually don't. We're gonna talk to Darwin and tell him the great news. Where the hell did I put that? But what exactly? Can you come Ned? closer? If you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. Wind in the stomach. Get two food cans for Ned. This is a continuous diff uh, side quest. Yes. Go. Hurry. See what you can find. You find anything? Uh... I did. Drink. Bandages. Alright, that's good. It's all good. Okay. okay. If Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Get this. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. All right, man. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Quest completed. The ray of hope. Okay. What's in there? Circular blades. Another signal amplifier. Take the signal amplifier. Get back to Dominic and give him the signal amplifier. Where should where would Dominic be exactly? Come on. <laughs> On the air. in the truck so that it so that it will be faster for you come on come on point to which direction you're going please all right there we go road trip All right. There Come you are. Over Hank. here. I've got a job for you. I'm busy, Hank. What? Okay. All right, man. Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. <laughs> On the air is done, folks. 
Let's see what else is there. Two, four, two. We better talk to the lighthouse guard. Where is it in? Okay, fast travel would be nice. We're safe here for now. To the lifeguard tower. No, no, the lighthouse, and there's an arena lobby. But there's still a lot to do. I wonder Back to the lighthouse. To make it here. Now let's talk to James. I saw what you did for us, and I won't forget it. All right, John. Hey, thanks for helping us. We couldn't have gotten the lighthouse running without you. And totally done. Now then, why don't we go? Let's do the Toy Story from now on, okay? Why not? What the heck? I got skill points right now, so I could spend it. Take attack damage. Yuri. What's up? Where the hell did I put that? Where's our truck when you need one? Come on, leave me alone. Okay then. Is it Walker? Yes! Death to you, punk. Oh my god. Get the heck out of my way. You noxious zombies. Not Fury. Oh, you get combos. Killing bad guys. As long as they're alive, you use your Fury. What the? Go away! You surprised me for a second, baby. Come on, move. Shut up, cars. by the lighthouse and we're going up the hill the stairs and an annoying zombie what the oh my god ah! those possum playing zombies they're so annoying Life. 
again. Uh, come on. It's a lot of pools. there. What's that blowing sound that I heard? An infected! Where'd you come from? A brass knuckle. Oh, cool. Why the heck are there blowing zombies? Now I'm gonna do what I gotta do best. Let's see if I can try this Molotov cocktail out for size. Break down that door. Bust that door open. There we go. Oh. Nothing there. Stupid roaring monsters. Do they know how very annoying these guys are? Hold on. Gotta find Ian's teddy bear. That's for sure. It's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it, all right. As a matter of fact, it's probably a dead end. Let's crouch. And this guy, Hector Lecter. These guys are one of the punks. They're going to be very annoying and they're going to shoot you. Blood. Blood everywhere. That's Lucy. Deal with him. There! Yes. Soaking into everything. They got a knife to attack you. <laughs> Out of my way, punk. Would you leave me alone kindly? He's guarding the teddy bear. I'll deal with him. So much blood. Would you like some fire? Ha, you're dead. Oh man, I like the sounds of their screams. <laughs> Pick up Anne's teddy bear. Bring the teddy bear back to Anne. Yeah, when they're screaming, they go... <laughs> Alrighty then, we have to hurry up. Gotta move really, really quickly. I wanna get this over with. You wanna know why? I'm tired. Friggin' thug. Whoa, go away! Who cares what you think? Whoa. You get the energy drink. It worked. Go down the stairs. Keep moving. Keep sprinting. Don't waste your stamina. Just hurry up. It would be so much faster if I had that car. Hurry. Away from me. 
Away. We're heading back in. Just to give Anne her teddy bear. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's. Go away. Don't break their arms. You break their arms with your fist. That's for sure. You find anything? I did. Teddy! Where have you been? You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. <laughs> well, we got nuts and bolts mod. My muscles are oh thank God. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, anyway, folks, I'm done. I'm done now. So, we're going to end this stream for now. Okay, guys? Press the Y button to quit. Anyway, folks, that is it for part one. Well, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K. I will see you in part two. See you then.